Generation X women are the first generation of women to have a long, unbroken work life. These women are moving up through the hierarchy in the workforce into senior management, so they're not people we can lose without it being a cost to the economy. I'm Professor Marina Adchade, a faculty member at the Vancouver School of Economics at the University of British Columbia. There's a significant drop-off in labor force participation that happens around the age of 55, an age which Gen X women are rapidly approaching. In addition to that, they have a significant burden in taking care of previous generations, their children and their grandchildren, and they face significant health issues. Previous governments said, well, grandma would take care of the grandchildren. The thing is, grandma has an advanced degree in 30 years of work experience. We can't expect there to be no cost to these women leaving the workforce. There are issues beyond the large loss of human capital and the failure of women to move up through the ranks in the workplace. Because women live so long, and in Canada are much more likely to live in poverty, we have women retiring without the funds to support themselves. That's concerning for us. In Canada, 52% of senior women would be living in poverty without government transfers. From a policy perspective, we would like people to be retiring with enough funds to support themselves. We should be investing in improving women's health, investing in childcare, and supporting people who are caring for elderly relatives. Ultimately, I think recognizing that this is important would go a long way to resolving this issue.